is a post I made in 2015. I really want to know the world. I want to try different experiences. I, I wanted to complete the bucket list, you know? What I wanted more than anything was to chase extraordinary moments. And that's what I did. Either camping overnight at an empty island, to standing above world famous cities, from swimming with whale sharks in the Pacific Ocean to hugging stingrays in the Caribbean, from coliseums to canyons, from deserts to jungles, sunny days or rainy days, exploring different cultures and, and even my very own, I was chasing the extraordinary moments. Even though this was great, the more I started to do it, the more I started to realize that something was missing. Here to guess what it was? It was the ordinary moments. An extraordinary moment is posting a picture somewhere awesome for my friends to see. An ordinary moment is to actually see my friends. Yet, which one of these has more value? Of course, the ordinary moment. An extraordinary moment is to photograph a sunrise. An ordinary moment is to be present and fully enjoy that blissful time gap. Which one has more benefit? I'd say the ordinary moment as much as I love photography. An extraordinary moment is taking videos at a breathtaking concert and continually posting those videos on social media during the concert. An ordinary moment is to sit down and listen. Maybe these examples aren't the best, but I guess what I'm trying to say is that it's the ordinary things that we miss when they're gone. It's the ordinary things that truly make us happy. During one of my travels, I finally learned that it's not so much about the exciting journey or seeing beautiful places, but instead it's about the people who join you on that journey and the people you meet. Let me quote Brene Brown on the following. Joy comes to us in ordinary moments. We risk missing out when we get busy chasing down the extraordinary.